Hello, 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 hello. Oh, everyone. Elsa Slava. Good morning. Too much love. Good morning. Wonderful, wonderful people. Thank you guys for joining me like this moment. I miss everyone. Can you hear the message? Jesus loves us too much. Oh my. Ooh. Hi. Mercy, true. Love of God is patient. I miss everyone. You feel my heart, Lord. With so much and joy. You're always This is wonderful. You make my life feel perfect. All your promises. Enjoy the music and stay tuned with me. I missed you all so much. Thank you guys for joining me live. I can't mention everybody's name, but honestly, I love you all so much. Too much, too much, excess love. Thank you guys for joining me all the way from Houston, Texas. This is your very own Jesse of Sister Through Love Group International. All the way from US. Thank you guys for joining me. I missed everyone. Thank you all. Love me too much. Too much. Excess love. Oh. She loved me too much, oh. too much, oh. too much, oh. SS love. Too much, oh. too much, oh. too much, oh. SS love. The love for me too much. Oh. Too much, oh, too much, excess love, oh. Too much, oh, hey, excess love, oh. Too much. What's too much? Too much. Hey, love. Let's give on time, guys. Too much. Too much. Too much. love. Thank you guys for joining me. Love me too much. Too much your SS love. Yes. Too much your SS love. Jesus, he loved me too much. Too much your SS love. Jesus, he loved me too much, oh, too much, oh, you love me too much, 
the best. Wow. I give God the praise. The topic of today is not that much. I just want to shout out to every one of us for the thanksgiving. I just want to say thank God for the gift of thanksgiving. You understand? It has to be God. We need to have the heart of gratitude. We need to have the heart of thanksgiving. We have to have the heart of praise and worship. We have to have the heart of appreciation unto what God is doing for us. This is the season of thanksgiving. It's not all about eating talking. It's about trials and tribulations and the way we should overcome. Thanksgiving means your heart is gratitude towards God. Your heart is peaceful. You are thankful for where you are. You are thankful for what God has brought you out from. You are thankful for what you are going through in your life. But guess what? The enemy is not happy that you have the heart of gratitude. At this time, the devil is not happy that you are thankful for what God is doing. And that is why this period of time, we need to be alert and oriented. We need to be watchful. We have to be very focused in the things that concerns God. We have to surrender ourselves with positive people, with people who can pull us up and not pull us down. Thanksgiving, the embalmment. It's not just eating turkey and rice and all that. It's about reconciling with Christ. It's about drawing closer to God. It's about stepping out of our comfort zone. It's about doing things that you're not used to doing. It's about being grateful from the depth of your heart. I missed everyone, and that's what I want to encourage somebody this morning. As you watch me, please share. Invite someone else. If you read my notification, I'm actually focusing that we should not allow the enemy to use our time against our destiny. God bless you all for joining me. And please share this brief video this morning. I'm not going to be here too long. I have tons of things to do. But I must say hello to you guys because I missed everyone for Thanksgiving. I had some of my uncles and my cousins and all that from out of town that visited this weekend. For Thanksgiving last weekend, it was awesome. We had wonderful, wonderful time. Uh, some of my family members that I've not seen for 15, 20 years, they knew me when I was young and now I'm a grown-up woman. Oh my God, the reunion was awesome. So I didn't have time to come on Facebook. And right now, I am on Facebook today. I just want to encourage you, do not allow enemy to use your time against your destiny. Pay good attention and close attention to this topic. It's a brief one. Don't allow the enemy to use your time against your destiny. What am I saying? When you are being overshadowed by the things around you, especially the negative things around you, you worry so much about the bills that you have not paid. You worry so much about those who are tearing your name apart. You worry so much for those who are gathering against you. You worry so much for your challenges and your troubles. You worry so much on how to succeed in life and you forget the main picture of everything. Trust in God and believing that tomorrow is going to be better than today. That's what I want to encourage us. Don't you allow the enemy to use your destiny and your time against you. When you are being around people who are negative, you spend time gossiping. You spend time tearing someone else apart. You spend time making phone calls against someone's destiny. You're actually delaying your own destiny. 
Because the time wasted can never be retrieved no more. Don't waste your time with backbiter at this Christmas time. Do not waste your time thinking about your stress and your pressures. Don't waste your time about negativities. Focus on the positive side and what God has in plan for you for this Christmas period so that your time will be valuable and you can use your time very productive. Sister Dominic, thank you so much, lady, for joining me. I love you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I can't mention everybody, but I see all of you. Princess Esoya from Dallas, girl, you are welcome. Sister Sylvia, you're welcome. Uh, Mojisola, you're welcome. Lizzie Chuku, you're welcome. So many of you I cannot mention, but I love you guys so much. Ngenderim, Francis, God bless you, sir. Share, share, share. Don't waste your precious time, your energy, on negative things this Christmas time. Thanksgiving is not all about eating and giving. It's about the heart of gratitude unto God, the author and finisher of our faith. Challenges are coming up every minute this month, you know. Friends will begin to be against their friends, you know. Family members will fight against each other. You will lose your job, you get a job, you fail a exam, you lose your marriage, your relationship is broken. Too many things are happening for this Christmas time. But it is what it is. Don't spend your time thinking about the negative. How about we center ourselves about the positive things? How about you asking God for his favor to guide you through the remaining of the year? It could have been worse. Why are you angry with someone who spent his or her time gossiping about you for this Christmas time? That is the enemy using their precious time against their own energy and against their destiny. That's what I call that. When someone can pick up their phone and talk about you for almost 10, 15, 20 minutes, sometimes they stay one hour, two hours just discussing about you. That makes you so special and very important to them. So you have something that is unique, that these people are fighting against you. Don't let it put you down. Stay on top. This is time of thanksgiving and gratitude. Stay on top of your games. Stay on top, stay on top. Do not let the enemy use your time against your destiny. That is the topic, the brief topic of today. Stay focused with those that will give you the positivity that you need to succeed. Don't let no challenges pull you down. Don't let trials and tribulations destroy your joy. Do not allow anyone Tell you less of yourself. Don't give any credibility to anyone who wants to readjust you for who you are. This is the spirit of Christmas. Identifying yourself and knowing who you are. Being able to say the word no enough is enough. It will be a pattern of growth for you this Christmas. I missed everyone, but I have to encourage somebody today. Most of us are going through challenges right now. I'm telling you, I can attest to that. Some things are happening that you don't want to question God. You know, when you pray for God to, to separate you from wrong gathering, from wrong friends and well wishers, you pray so hard, Father God, expose and disgrace them. And you don't know what you're praying for. When God begins to expose and disgrace those that are against you, even when they gather as friends, you begin to pray this prayer. God will begin to expose them. Don't shiver. Don't move. This is time for separation. Let God use you for what he called you for. What I do is because I love what I do. And I encourage every one of us, identify yourself this month. Don't waste your energy about someone else's issue. It's not going to bring you no joy or peace of mind. It will only tear you down. So get out of your comfort zone. Begin to think about your life. The year is coming to an end, my fans. It is the truth. This year is almost winding up. What have you achieved? Are you still in the same center of friends? All they do is to tear others down. Are you still among those who are failures to themselves? Are you still among the people who doesn't have any way of identifying themselves? Are you among those all they tell you is all about negative during this Christmas time. Separate yourself from those ones. 
Identify yourself. Get out of your comfort zone. Do the things that you are not used to doing. Be more productive towards the end of this year. More productive. Don't allow your enemies to use your time against your destiny. That is the topic of today. And I wish every one of us wonderful Christmas as we prepare to end this year that the Almighty God will do nothing but give us long life, peace, and productivity. Like I said before, David, thank you for joining. Naovia, thank you. Richard Francis, you're welcome. It could have been worse. What are you facing that is distracting you from the glory of God? What is the challenge? Who is backbiting you? Who is stabbing you at the back that is making you get distracted? Thank you, Sister Domini. God bless you. What is that stress? Is that the bill that you think you cannot pay those bills? Can you give it to God this end of the year? I'm telling you guys, my son started the year with me in January. I saw him. But guess what? In the middle of the year, the Lord called him home, my baby. It could have been worse to any of us right now. But we are very opportune to be in the land of the living. We are so much blessed to have another chance to amend our ways. Get out of negativity. Get out of people who are pulling you back. When God begins to shift things around your life, don't question him. Sister Dominic and said, there is a reason why they are in the back. Keep moving forward. That's right. For people to keep pulling you down. Don't do that. Stay focused. There's always reason why people gossip behind you. What does that tell us? Like Sister Dominic said, when people are talking about you, you are very important. Get yourself acquitted to being so proud of you. If someone can take their 30 minutes in a day, one hour, two hours, three hours, some spend four or five hours sitting down together just to talk about you negatively, even when you are very kind to them. What does that tell you, children of God? That you are on top. You have some uniqueness in you. You carry some values in you. Because if you don't have nothing to offer, nobody will identify with you. If you don't have nothing burning in your destiny, nobody cares about what you're doing. If you don't have nothing to offer to the society, no one wants to know who you are. But for people to gossip about you, I am telling you guys, it's the end of the year. Don't you worry. You have something to give out. That is why people bother about you. That's why everything you do, they turn it to be evil, even when you're doing good to them. Don't you worry about that. This is why they're behind you. And that's the, the, the reason why people say, oh, they're backbiting me. You call them backbiting. They are in the back. They will remain at the back while you're still moving forward. You use them as a stepping stone. The Lord Almighty will bring your enemies to your foot. If we only can believe and have the heart of gratitude. Thank God for where you are. Bless God for where you're going. And continue to appreciate God because he is God indeed. One with God is majority. This is a very critical time. Mba month, it comes with a lot of challenges. May the Lord see us through. And may we always encourage one another through prayers, through phone calls, support, and being there for one another. Don't allow the enemy to use your time against your destiny. Destiny without vision is a dead one. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Yes. Nothing you cannot do. Nothing you cannot change. Nothing you cannot turn around. You are able, great and mighty God. I put my trust in you. You are able, Jesus. 
Yes, there's nothing you cannot do. Great and mighty God, you are able, Jesus. You are able, great and mighty God, you are able, Jesus. There is nothing, nothing you cannot do. Nothing you cannot change, nothing you cannot turn around. You are able, then a mighty God. I put my trust in you. You are able, Jesus. Oh, yes, He's able. Did you hear that God is able to do all things? I'm going to start my my sessions back tomorrow by His grace. If He pleases God to give us life, I will start back my sessions of teaching tomorrow. And it's going to be more about love, unique love, unique love all through this Christmas. The heart of gratitude, thanksgiving, the heart to appreciate God and don't question his authority. The heart to know that wherever we are, it has to be God. It has nothing to do with no man. Don't you let yourself be put down by any human being who thinks that they are the destiny helpers in your life. God is the one who has sent a destiny helper to you. And when he does, be careful to guide it. Because sometimes enviness, enviness, jealousy can destroy your destiny. Awesome wonder God. God assigned a destiny to each and every one of us. Pray that this Christmas time, you'll be so alert to identify who is your destiny helper. And do not allow the enemy to steal your joy. Because the devil is not even happy that you have identified your destiny helper. And guess what? The devil will work so hard to destroy it. Stay tuned and stay strong. Thank you all for joining me. Be grateful all the way. No matter what you face, be thankful to God. There is a reason for everything. We have to worship God. There is purpose for everything under the surface of the earth. There is a reason for everything that we go through under this surface of the earth. Be it good or bad, God has a purpose for it all. So I encourage you, you guys, every one of us, let us be thankful at this time. Reach out to someone else. I'm planning to do an outreach for Sisters Through Love Group very soon. I have families under the bridge. I've not visited them for almost four or five months now ever since I lost my child. But it's about time, it's Christmas time, that I reach out to them again. So reach out to someone around you. Don't allow your circumstances to tell you otherwise, that you can't do it because you don't have enough. So a seed in somebody's life this Christmas. Jesus, thank you for joining me, my sister from Nigeria. Paul, you're welcome. Cinnamon, you're welcome. Nicole, I thank you so much. Pakiso, God bless you all. So a seed this time. Provoke heaven, people of God. Don't allow the enemy to use your time against your destiny. When the devil is preaching against you, talking about your trials, how people are betraying you, your so-called friends and well-wishers, hurting and stabbing you behind, don't let it move you. Keep on doing what you're doing. Keep on doing right. Because God has a destiny for you that is above human understanding. Touch somebody's life this Christmas time. Continue to do good. Do good to somebody, and somebody will do good to you. Most times, when you help people, those people will not be the ones to help you. It will be from someone else for God to pay you back for what you have done. So stay in the spirit of thanksgiving and give to somebody who needs your giving. Thank God for what he's doing. Appreciate him for what he will continually do. And be a blessing to humanity. Like I said, when you touch a human, when you do good to another human being, 
because the word of God said he created us in his likeness and image. Guess what you did? You touched the heart of God himself. And you begin to use it as a point of contact. Praise God about what you are doing to people. Thank God for who you have been kind to. And use it as a point of offering unto the hand of Almighty God. That your good heart, things that you do for others, will never speak against you, but it will speak favor upon your life. Don't turn to be somebody else. I can attest to you guys, I have been stabbed back and forward by friends and well wishers, by people I call my family. But it's not stopping me, I'm not moved at all. Sister Ellen, God bless you. Don't get moved by people stabbing you. Hey, don't get discouraged. This is Christmas time. Go out and do good to somebody. Don't use your experiences by others who don't appreciate you against those you can help in future. Begin to sow seed in people's life. Touch someone else. Bless somebody this Christmas time and touch the heart of God because his blessing is going to fall upon us. Keep that heart of gratitude. Thanksgiving is not all about eating food. It's about touching souls. Oh yes, God is Yahweh. He can do all things. Don't you wonder when you think you're going down, you see yourself elevated in a very speedy way. Those of us that have a heart of sowing seed into people's life, we can never go down. That is the way I pass through my own trials. People look at me, they ask, how is she doing it? I just lost a child. And I've been stabbed by close friends that are back to back this very moment that I'm going through challenges. But it's not stopping me. Why is it not stopping me? Because I know my Redeemer lives it. And I know that my destiny is in God's hand. And I know that with God, everything will work out for good for them that believe it in Him. I know so well that when God is in the midst of my trials, then I am safe because He knows it all. Before it happens, He's aware of it. So why don't you rejoice? Why don't we stay focused? Why don't we be positive this Christmas time? Why don't we bless somebody? Heart of Thanksgiving. Yes, Sister Ellen, that is God for you. Woo! Jesus. Listen to this word of God. Woo! God is awesome. In God we put our trust. The Lord has taken over me. Ooh. I have to depend on God. I encourage us. I have confidence in God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh my God. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Have confidence in Him. Enjoy this music. Amen. Thank you, Sister Ellen. 
don't miss it, darling. I like it. Yes. The Lord has taken over me. Uh-huh. I have confidence in you. Thank you, Lord, for me. Thank you, sister. She's a good blessing. Uh, I don't know the penalty of God. God bless every one of us. I just came in to encourage us. Emmanuel Chichi, thank you. Olivia, thank you. God bless you all. I just want to encourage us today. That's all. Don't allow the enemy use your time against your destiny. Don't waste time gossiping other people. Because the more you do it, <laughs> guess what? <laughs> they are moving forward. The more you gossip people, the more you elevate their lives. So don't do that. Stay focused on your lane. Mind your business, you know. Don't allow the enemy to steal your joy by bringing pressures and gossipers around you, by bringing people to be stabbing you, especially your loved ones. Don't let it get up to you for this Christmas. It's all about God. Whatever God has in stock for you, no matter how long it is delayed, it will surely come to pass. Destinies are different. My destiny is totally different. Your destiny is different. Stay focused. Get concerned about you. Don't spend time about someone else's issues because it's not going to benefit you anyways. So stay at in concerning you and God. And I tell you, we must, by his grace, have a reason to be thanksgiving, to give thanks for being alive. Give thanks that you have the mouth to even talk. Like I'm communicating with you guys right now. I am very grateful to God Almighty. Because it could have been worse. Those that are in the hospital that cannot speak right now, I'm not better off than them. That I have a roof over my head with my family. It's a blessing from the heavens. Because some people are under the bridge. Some people are on the streets begging. Those people, some of them are graduates. Some of them had good jobs before. But circumstances of life put them to the place where they are. It could have been worse. There are people who have hands, but they cannot use it. You and I can type things on Facebook and even watch a broadcast like this. You are highly favored and blessed, my people. Have the heart of thanksgiving this Christmas. Appreciate God. Forget about your trials. Forget about who did and who did not do. They are not important anymore in your life. Whatever someone did against you, it's not important. What matters is what God is doing for you. 
That's all I can say. That's all that is more important. It's about God's plan, not about human plans. Do you think that anybody wants you to succeed for you? Especially those who are envious of you and they pretend, you know, to be your friends and family members in a very corny way. Oh God, may he expose and disgrace every one of them. Jesus, expose and disgrace every hidden agenda around us this Christmas time. Separate us from backbiters and destroyers, friends, enemies, ah, agents of the evil ones. Father God, expose and disgrace them. Separate us from them so that your name alone, God, will be glorified. Let me pray with you guys as I go and continue my day. I pray this moment that God himself will open our eyes and our understanding to see how much he cares about us, how much he fights for us even when we are sleeping, how much he guides everything concerning us, even when the enemy comes to tear us apart, to destroy us, they want every means to destroy everything that concerns us. But the Lord Almighty is on his throne, securing everything that concerns you. Though it tarries, but it will surely come to pass. That is the word of God. Yes, we will face challenges and tribulations. That's what the Bible said. Jesus himself was crucified and denied by his old friend, Judas Iscariot. It was ordained that it's going to happen. So Jesus did not hold him on bondage because he betrayed him. So release everyone that has betrayed you. I release everyone against me right now that has betrayed me. But I release them that you fight the battle in the name of Jesus. Send to every one of us. May the Lord have mercy. And may his grace be sufficient to us all. For this Christmas time. I will see you guys tomorrow by his special grace. Like I said, working days, working days, working days. Let me go about my business today. I love every one of you and thank you guys for joining me all the way from Houston, Texas. This is your very own Jesse, CEO of Sister Astrola Group International. Where we say not to matters but love guide your destiny don't allow the enemy to use your time against your destiny you will have a wonderful and productive day i love you all so much amen go about your business and be blessed as you go out as you come back you'll be blessed god bless everyone bye for now Thank <laughs> you.